below dirt mr no fun once again i am here doing a tier video this time doing a little different than the last one last time we did drag ball super this time i'm gonna do insane clown posse also known as icp catalog but not all of it it'd be a fuck ton more of cds than just this this looks like just the main stuff some old school stuff thrown in some new stuff you know, a little side project action, not too, too much. If it was going to be that, it'd be a lot longer video. But I've been listening since I was probably about eight years old. I'm 30 now. And uh, yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. Love this shit. So this one should be kind of interesting. All right. Got S to F. All right. All right, let's see what we're going to start with. Probably the beginning. We got a classic Carnival of Carnage. Now, quality wise, wasn't all there. Obviously, very beginning. But it was also the very beginning, you know? So, I'm going to put, obviously, my own opinion. So, y'all get mad if you want to, but I'm going to put Carnival of Carnage. At a, mm, I'm gonna say C. Now, that's because I don't listen to it often. There's some good songs on there, but it, they're not all my favorite. You know, I don't listen to it often. Again, that's about all I can say. Now, Ringmaster, they amped it up as you should, obviously. And I also will, because it was really fucking good. We're going to put Ringmaster at... Uh, I'm going to say... See, it's in between A or B. Let's put it at A. I'm going to put it at A. They really changed things, and I like more songs on it okay you know and it's a classic should get a tattoo of that i got a tattoo of this next one though which is the riddle box and my personal favorite it's probably the very first one that i listened to this is the very first one i had on a burnt cd way back in the day and yeah i got it tattooed i just love the design of it same with the Ringmaster. I love the design. Really, honestly, of Carnival of Carnage, too. It's amazing. love the design of Ringmaster, but out of all of them, uh, I really like Riddlebox the most. The color scheme, all of it. I thought it was just really fucking cool. And then, once again, they amped it up. It sounded way better. Quality was way better. I felt like the stories were way better and just more in tune. Now, we got the Great Malenko. I'm going to put another S definitely deserves it uh, that's all I can say I mean I got this tattooed my brother's got this one tattooed a lot of people got really into it at that time but see the main thing is once again my first cassette tape of them was a purple cassette tape the entire thing was purple Great Malenko and I played the fuck out of that and my mom's old ass van my brother, all of my friends, obviously, we played the fuck out of it. Loved it. Great fucking CD. And it's not because that's when they got, like, popping with the Hollywood records and all that shit and Disney or whatever. It's because it was just memory and nostalgic. And it really held up. They fucking, every time they just amped up the fucking the quality. It's just fucking amazing. It's sweet. And a great design, once again. And I love all the different color schemes they did for that one. Oh, see, and here's the thing. I'm going to catch heat for it, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? This is just how I feel about shit. The Jekyll Brothers, another S. Fucking great. Great. That's when I, well, once again, this is, and the reason I was saying the Hollywood stuff is because I was a child. And I didn't give a fuck. I just loved how it sounded. You know what I'm saying? But with this, they fucking amped it up. It was really popping. It was hype. There was a lot of hype shit on the Great Malenko, but this one was really hype, I feel like. And it was just really real, and the design was even better. It just kept 
getting better. And uh, like I said, I got a little older, as you do when these are coming out like this. And I could, I, I just would understand it more. And I felt it more. Oh, and that design is just sick. The rape. I'm going to put... Oh, it's so hard. It's so ridiculous. Because I'm going to put it at S. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fucking fan of so many of these CDs. Like, like these were good CDs. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... These were fucking amazing. At this point, I was 12. Just to let you know, I'm 30 now. This is I was 12 years old, and I understood even more. And it was just a good point. And this car made it... I know a lot of people who didn't fuck with ICP after this. They were, like, hating on them and saying, Oh, well, they're just about God. And all. it's... Come on, bro. Like, even at 12 years old, I thought that was a stupid-ass reason to not like them. You were a fan all the way up until they expressed an opinion of something? Like, come on, dude. Get the fuck out of here. That shit was amazing. There's great features on it. I love... They said they saved a bunch of the different uh, ideas they had for years, and they put it on this, and I think I believe it. It was just a great culmination of so much time and I, that I was listening to it. So I can only imagine being older than fucking 12. And like hearing this shit, or uh, I don't know when it came out. I might have been thirteen at that point. Don't really know, but ah, oh, I could only imagine being older and just fucking going to the shows and enjoying the fuck out of just the vibe. Now, Hell's Pit, loved it. It's great, but I'm gonna put it at A because I did not get the same feeling. You know, I got older and it was good and it was dark and it was sweet. It was it was fresh as fuck, but it just wasn't. I don't know, it just wasn't those top ones, you know, for nostalgia reasons, fucking whatever, because quality was there, clearly, you know, it just kept getting better, but I just didn't have the same feeling, you know, it was a great CD, just wasn't the same, it damn near made it, I almost put it up there, but it just, it just wasn't the same, you know what I mean, let's see, and then bang, pow, boom, I listened to this when it came out, and I don't know. I was just getting older, and uh, I was just like, eh, it wasn't bad. It, but then I re-listened to it recently, and uh, I really fucking dug it. I dug it a lot more than I thought. I'm gonna put that as a B because it was good, but it definitely, uh, you know, whether it's a first deck of cards wearing off, whatever the fuck it. Well, I don't really mind. You, you, you have your opinion. I don't know. I just thought it was. A little bit doper than I thought it would be. You know, it was an awesome surprise. But it didn't quite measure up. And, you know, as I go through this, I might move a thing or two around. But for right now, I'm going to put that at B. It was dope. And they, like, the just that title track's dope. You know what I mean? I like, they got different, they, they put different stuff on there. Like, it was like, I don't know what the vibe. It was like real bouncy, and it, it's like they're talking about the world exploding, but it's fucking like happy sounding. It's really fresh, you know, in your face, all that shit. It was, it was you know, well, I don't know. And then bang, pow, boom, bang, pow, boom, uh, mighty death pop. I'm gonna put it C. Bang, pow, boom was dope. Uh, it was eh, a little not what I was looking for, basically. And this was dope in its own way, but it, I think they shoved so much different shit in at one time. and Because they gave you, like, a bunch of different... I Like, when I heard it, it was a bunch of different CDs and shit. And it's not that it was bad, but I think maybe... It, I don't know. I just wasn't digging it as much, I guess. That's all I can, that's all I can really say. And, uh, Lost and Found. Uh, okay, let me see. See, some of these are older. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep doing it how it is, though. Missing Link. Uh, lost. Uh, I'm going to say... I like this one more, so I'll say B. It, you know what I mean? It was uh, a little surprising. Um, but when I first heard these ones, too, I was just like... Not really liking the direction of it, you know. It was, um, 
there was like more dubstep type stuff and that's like I ain't hating on dubstep but wasn't quite ICP and even in one of their recent things they do for Patreon they mentioned that they had a song fighting the neighbors fighting and I haven't heard that version and uh they were like saying that they should have used that instead of the one they did which was like really dubstep influence and it wasn't bad and, you know that's why it's not D and F but it wasn't it just wasn't there for me, honestly. Let's see. Now, found. I'm going to put a D. This is the first one that gets the D. Because, eh. It was, it was just too lovey-dovey. Like, I don't know. I get it. I get the reason why. You know what I mean? But Shangri-La, kind of, I'm not going to say it's the same type of deal. But it was like, on a lighter note. And it was still, it was just, I think the mark was missed. You know, now Fred Fury. This one I'm gonna put an A because I, this one was one that really kind of brought me back to being like I gotta re-listen to these old CDs. I mean these uh, CDs before in the second deck because um, I was like, damn, dude, I, I, maybe I'm just looking at it wrong or something. But it's just not. It, it, it just brought it back to me. It, it had a, a older vibe. I liked it a lot. I think they did really good with that one. And then the old school, gonna hate me, you know. But basement cuts, I really, I you know, legend or not, I don't really, not a huge fan of it. So all I can really say, dog beats, I'm gonna put at a C. And I'm not like just, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the older sound and that's really with any music though i can only stand so much because of the quality the quality just wasn't there like it is how it is now and even in the 90s and in the early 2000s it just was not there now beverly kills I'll put it a b it's a good cd you know not their best not their worst by any fucking means but a fun little cd i feel like you know what i mean it's random shits terror wheel we got another we got another, and this is my opinion, but I'm going to say B. Because the little side EP they were doing for each of these CDs, you know what I mean? As far as they go, these two were pretty damn good. You know what I mean? Not the best, not the worst. Put them more right, kind of in the middle, above average. You know what I mean? Once again, we're talking about Riddle Box territory. This was probably the best one okay one of the best eps they did it just my type of bitch you know what i mean like um what what else was all like cotton candy super balls you know what i mean like some hits that damn near should have been on their respective lps but it still worked the fuck out it was just one of those good ass fucking eps just really good all together now we got the the compilations and forgotten freshness volume one and two as a kid, listen to this a lot, and I'm gonna put it at B. Might be nostalgia, might be whatever, but the in between cuts that could have been on some of these CDs in the beginning times, like some of them I feel like should have went on there. You know what I mean? It's like, damn, I don't know if it'll make it better or worse. Definitely don't think it'd make it worse. I'll take that back, but should have been on there. I think they were dope. And I need to, and I'm going to be doing reactions to this, because I don't know what the hell that this six Forgotten Freshness sounds like. But, let's keep it going. Three, up there. We're going to say, we're going to say, I don't know. Hey. Yeah, oh shit, I'm going to put it up. Eh, yeah, I'm going to put it up here, because it was, it, it was fucking amazing to me. Loved it. Cartoon Nightmares, Pazion Werner, fucking, uh... What's the one with just Crazy Click? All of them. Just uh, Fly. All of them. So fucking dope. Now this one is the one that I think also had uh, the Halloween tracks on it. The the like second CD. And uh, this had My People or If I Was a King and all of them. And that was actually pretty good. I'm going to put that at A too. Now, you see nothing's at F, and that's probably because I'm a fan of these. You know what I mean? I, I don't know any of them that I could straight up be like, that shit's straight 
fucking trash, you know? But, uh, actually, I do. I'm going to put that one there. Forgotten Fresh is five. Just wasn't a fan. Wasn't a fan. I don't know what six is about. We'll see. That's why it's got this and it's not an F. I have no clue. I didn't want to put it there. It'd be kind of fucked up of me. You know what I mean? Let's see. Double check these one more time. Hmm. I'm going to put this one at C. It wasn't bad, but just looking through these where I'm trying to rank these, come on. It just, it was good, above average. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I was lacking. It's not something I keep going back to, that's how I'll put it. Now, Bizarre, both of these, both of these S, both of them, both of them. Loved every bit of all that shit, all of it that came out. That's all I can say, fucking, if, I mean, just... Every Mr. Happy, everything on these CDs, these were, to me, the best ICP CDs. This is the best Joker card, my favorite one, I should say. This one might be the best, or this one, depends who you ask, I don't know. But these were my favorite fucking CDs. That's the best ones that ICP made, I feel like. The Calm. The Calm will be a B. It was a good CD, it was short, eh. It just, I don't know. I'm gonna put that. In. I'm uh, yeah. I'm gonna put that at B because the Temptus is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that C. It was good, but this is where I kind of was like lightweight, being like I don't, I don't really know up or down. You know what I mean? It's kind of just. It's got a good vibe though. I mean, it's not a, a terrible CD. You know what I mean? That's why I had to knock this one down. Uh, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to knock this one down to D. Because, like I said, I don't re-go back to it. And I'm going to take this one down to F. Because I just... That one I don't go back to on purpose. This one, on purpose. Just, eh. Flip the rat. Uh, on purpose. I don't like it. I just don't like it. It's not Fred Fury at all. I don't like it. So, flip the rat. Wasn't a fan. Now, this is just two, C it's two songs on this CD. But... Especially for when it comes to time to have Christmas and whatnot. It's very... I play it every fucking year. So I'm going to put an A. Uh, yeah, I didn't like this one either. I'm going to put a D. It wasn't fucking god-awful, but it just wasn't my favorite. Some of my friends have, like, they quote it all the time. And I'm, that's why I'm like, ah, I don't know what you're really talking about. Because that one is not bad, but it's not, it's not great. And Phantom... Uh, once again, I'm just gonna put a D because, eh, it is what it is. It's not. It's not up here. I'm gonna scan this one last time. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think I'm good with that. I'd like to know everybody else's opinion. I'm sure because this is the internet, you will let me know. But you know, I I want to I want to know what y'all think. You know, get a good glance, get a gander of what I'm doing here. What do you think? I am a fan, so I can't act like you know. What I mean, I don't know how people are and how they feel. I know I know a lot of people's got some smoke for this. I'm sure, but it's all right. I want you to comment and let me know. Give me a like if you like this, by the way. If you want to see anything more like this, we, I'm going to keep doing these. This is the second one, so give me a little subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Flick and tickle that little subscribe button. But that's me, Below Dirt, ICP tier list. Just let me know what you think.